So we'll have a couple of what, Scots line infantry, maybe some, some Swiss maybe. I haven't got a lot to spend. Uh, I think we've run out of Scots now. That's the maximum that we can have. Uh, okay. Yep, got a couple of infantry units. And I'll move a couple of infantry units out of here. We've taken this out of tax anyway, so it should be okay. So we're quite happy. It's on a plus 37 now growth, so we're all right there as well. So I'm going to take a couple of these out of here. Uh, and I'm going to take them over to here. Because they'll be able to relieve Paris when the attack goes in. And then I'm already recruiting in here. I think I'll replenish these as well, actually. Oh. Yep, we'll replenish those in the future. Um, I am expecting that when he puts this attack in... It's going to be the same as he did before. I'm not sure if he's got slightly more than he had before. I'm really not sure. Anyway, um, I have a, a spy around here, but I'm pretty sure the spy has already been used and that I don't think it can be used again. I can move him in this direction. You see, if I can do what I did before, which was to remove him of his... No, no, I can't now, can I? He's already been done an attack once, so he can't do that again. I was rather hoping I'd be able to um, assassinate his general. Might try it next time, though. Might be worth it. In fact, what I'll do is I'll move that spy a little closer. Move it up to here, so that he can go and attack his general when the siege starts. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a siege, because really I've got... Um, Turns on there. I've got. Uh, well, I, I can't really count them. Two, four, six, eight. I would say there's about five left up there. So I'd say about 12 units of Firelock armed infantry, um, which comes to the equivalent of six infantry units. Plus I've got the uh, the dragoons as well to help out. And there's always, like I say, uh, yeah, he has got four units. So two, three, four, five. Hmm. Okay, anyway, there's not a lot we can do about that now, I'm afraid, so... If I were to attack there, he would come out and help from there. Quite a lot of units, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, he's got 11 there. Which is not really very good for me. I think what I might have to do, though, is blockade this completely. So, forgo the um, taxes, sorry, the um, raiding value, you know, the piracy and just block his economy, because he hasn't got much in here, really, um, to raise, you know, funds from. It's a pretty rocky, rubbishy area, really, so he can't have a lot of money, and he's got to sustain a lot of troops. So I think we'll um, blockade that and see what happens. But I'm pretty sure that is near enough to be able to help him if we need to attack there. Um, and what he's got in there is just three units, which are pretty rubbish, really. I thought by blocking him here it would stop him getting in at all. But he's going through here, isn't he? Not quite know where he's going. Yeah, he's going through there, isn't he? Bloody nuisance. These Savoyards getting through into my territories. Okay. Okay, well we've got the resources to be able to tackle it anyway, that's the main thing. Um, I'm still fairly confident about France though. I really don't think we're going to struggle too much, so uh, let's have a look around, see if there's something I can improve in here, some winery or something something I can do uh, that's a shipyard, isn't it, so I don't want to bother with that one I'll look down here just to see if we've got, I'm sure we've got something like a winery or something that we can improve or do something with might just have to improve this trading, you know, now we've got division of labour maybe I should go for this because it gives me um, plus three trade routes, possible by sea. 525 to the regional wealth, yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, hmm. I think I might go for this, because, yes, it's going to give me a plus, but also, um, it might mean that I'm less reliant on Marseille down here. And Marseille, unfortunately, is quite difficult for me to, to manage and to defend. So then what we're going to do is try and strangle his economy and see what happens then. I might even send some troops in here and start damaging things, you know, like this area here, you know, the weaver's cottage. It's not really big anyway, is it? But I might start damaging things like that and see if that does anything to him, you know. 
Now, apart from that, um, I can't see how we can attack the Marathas. We can't attack in Spain. So it looks like that is the end of the turn for that one. Now this is the one we're most interested in of course. These are Marathas building up their armies to come south again. I haven't felt confident enough to take them on in the open yet, so... Unfortunately we are going to have to suffer these continual incursions. And here they come. If you remember I reduced them down to um, a, a 20 minute game, 20 minute battle. My men look fairly well pre replenished in there, so hmm, I'm not sure what happened there. But anyway, you can see he's got lots of these chaps that are going to want to come over the walls. Melee attacks, 14, 12, 18, 9. They're not going to be very nice to me. Um, most of it's cavalry. He has got artillery that's going to batter down the walls. So he is going to get the walls down, whatever happens. He is going to go over the walls and defeat me on the walls, whatever happens. So really, it's going to be my usual game which is to put the um, Phylocarm citizenry on the walls um, to fire at him as he's coming in to reduce his numbers and then we'll take him on one-to-ones um, in the main arena down at the middle. You see the advantage has gone to him down at the bottom if you look on the scale there and he's got 1400 men against 1406 but of course I've got some um, Phylocarm citizenry. Only, is it three units in there? Um, I think he's got some mob as well, hasn't he? Uh, 70, 40, 40, 60, 7. Uh, perhaps he hasn't. Uh, line infantry. No, no, he's got fairly decent troops all over, I think. So we can expect all these to come through at some point. So we're going to be using Chevaux de Free, of course, aren't we, to deter the enemy from um, uh, being able to get through to us with his cavalry. Um, we've got the um, these to contend with, of course. They're going to batter down the walls. We're not going to be at the walls. He's going to cause me some damage with this one, of course, here. And it's really only these troops that can cause me some problems. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He's got 11 units. This one is quite depleted. So is this one depleted. That's like having one unit. So he's really got 10 units to fight. Um, what, fairly full units of one, I would say... I'm not sure I count that one. Uh, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. About even, do you think? I think we'll try and keep this one out of the battle, otherwise he's going to have some problems. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, might just be worth moving some men across to the other side, right now, actually. In fact, we're firing already there. But might just be, I think, beneficial to move somewhere. He does seem to be going more to the right, doesn't he? To this side here. Notice it's mainly infantry. He's got his cavalry and everything at the back. He doesn't have a great deal of infantry units, does he? Mind you, no, I think he's only got one going that way. Yeah, we'll ignore him. I, I think we'll keep our same formation and see how we go with that. Okay. Let's just check they are firing. So it's idle there, doesn't it? Why on earth are they idle? Come on, lads, you should be firing. Are you too far away or something? I wonder. They can fire from there. Yeah, they're just... Only just coming into range, aren't they? Okay, let's have a look at them. Let's have a look see what we've got coming for us. There they are, experienced troops. Oh, coming into range of my howitzers as well. You can just see it there. Look there, though. No bayonets, are there? No bayonets at all. There is um, uh, Bargir infantry. I don't know if he's got... Um, if just have a look round. Has he got swords on those? Might well have. Can't see any swords either. So he's going to try and attack us with uh, muskets with no bayonets on. Oh, I can't see that being a great success, but we shall see. We'll look across here. See what he's got here. These have got, no, again, muskets, no swords. So they don't look very clever, burger infantry. 
This is supposed to be good infantry, these as well.